was standing in the Chelsea Parade Ground as part of the University of Arts of London. And this is Vert. I'm surrounded by Vert, which is a structure that has been designed and created for the London Design Festival this year, 2024. When we take a look at the current situation that we're facing with the climate crisis, especially in cities, it's just the problem that it's heating up so much. We are facing in the cities, let's say, um, almost inhabitable uh, conditions in the next years. Probably in 10 years, we're gonna have a very different kind of uh, everyday life. And uh, of course, a lot is uh, connected to the question of materiality. This is the most environmental building material. It stores carbon. This structure is essentially carbon neutral because of the carbon that's stored in the timber. This is the largest glue lamp structure we believe ever created in red oak in Europe. This red oak, it's 20% nearly of all the standing trees in the huge hardwood forests of North America. The beams themselves were manufactured in New Holzbau in Switzerland in Lungo. Blue Lamb is putting layers of timber boards together on their face to make larger beams and then you finger joint the lengths so you can create long lengths of timber. We needed to make sure that gluing worked in an industrial process. So we sent beams to Bern University to undergo strenuous testing and the results came back, surprised us all. It's better than European oak, it glues better in this context even than white oak, which has been used before. And now the manufacturer and other people involved in this project are saying that this is a material that they want to use again. We have proved through this experimental project that this material works in large-scale manufacturing. The cityscape as we know them today are pretty much built around the cars. You can just kind of dig a, a hole and put a, a tree inside. Because first of all, the tree, the tree needs water and it needs, it needs a lot of space underneath and it's not, exist, it's not there because it's all used by all sorts of kind of technical infrastructure or the water is missing. We just need more green in the cities. But it's not that easy because you're facing these structures inside the cities, they are just, yeah, not built for nature in general. And that's how we came up with this idea of why don't we use fast-growing climbing plants. We tried out, I think, over 40 different climbing plant species to see which one are the best for us because there's so much that you have to consider, so they have to be really fast, but also the volume is really important. And then the type of flowers, which one is an early climber, how do they look in terms of the colors of the flowers, all this has to be taken into account. When you compare sitting on a bench on a street or sitting on a bench underneath the climbing plants, it's actually a huge difference, especially for all the senses that are playing into it because you don't only see the green but you can also hear the noise that is going through the nets and then also the smell of these fresh plants and there's so much research on this topic that greening has a really big impact on mental health. One of the key aspects of industrial design is that it has to be relevant. Also it means it has to be relevant for not only one person but for many. 
As to make this whole thing really work, there are a lot of more details to be figured out. The installation that we are setting up is rather a, a milestone for us and not the end of an experimentation.